led by its president, Kenneth Okpara. Members of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, CIBN, paid Governor Babajide Sonwolu a courtesy visit at the seat of power, Lagos House, Alausa Ikeja. The team congratulated the governor on his re-election, saying they have no doubt on his intensifying the conducive environment his administration has created for financial institutions in the state, being one of their own. Okpara says CIBN will continue to partner with the government to build a greater Lagos agenda in so many ways than one, including building the capacity of youths. It's an area that um, also means so much for the governor of Lagos State. They are also very much interested in youth development. And so um, the governor was quite um, receptive to this. He's quite excited. Governor Babajide Sonwolu thanks the team, assuring them that the plus agenda in the themes is to ensure no one is left behind in the delivery of good governance and dividends of democracy, especially to youths. Everything they were doing is not just about providing opportunity, it's about ensuring that we can provide a future for that youthful population that we have in our country. Give them a sense of life, give them a sense of hope, and give them the reason for them to believe in our country. We are committed to ensuring that we continue to you know, up you know, the level of governance and ensure that this place um, will leave it a lot better than we met and to create you know, the path that others coming behind us will see you know, clearly that you know, governance is a serious business and it's something that must continue to improve and elevate the quality of life of the citizens. The CIBN is set to celebrate its 60th anniversary and the governor says it will be a pleasure to partner with the Institute's Human Development Capital Fund to ensure that the youths are adequately mentored and supported. Adetola Coyote, OTV News.